Vanity Dies Hard by Ruth Rendell Read by Isla Blair The rain stopped as they came into the town, but puddles lay everywhere, whipped and wrinkled by the wind. This do you all right? Hugo asked. He pulled the car onto a parking area. We're a bit tight for time, so if you think you can... You might take her all the way, said his wife. I call it mean, dumping people as if you were a bus. Besides, it's going to pour. I said we were late, Hugo snapped. He turned to his sister. OK, Alice, Jackie and I make a quick tour around Amalgamated Lacquers and pick you up here again at uh, five. Lovely, said Alice. She gathered up her umbrella and her handbag and opened the car door. <laughs> Don't take any notice of him. Jackie said quickly. Of course, we'll call for you at Nestor's. Tell me the address again, will you? Salisbury. S-A-U-L-S-B-Y. Chelmsford Road. But I can easily... Rubbish. She glared at her husband, and her black, saucer-sized curls vibrated like antennae. If he had an ounce of, uh, of chivalry... But Hugo was already putting the car in gear. Alice stood on the pavement and gave a little wave. Love to Nestor. Jackie shouted. I hope she won't be in one of her moods. Mind you, cheer her up before we come. In one of her moods. But account for her long silence. Her apparent refusal to answer most of Alice's letters. Perhaps she shouldn't have come. Certainly it would have been better to come in her own car instead of impulsively begging a lift from her brother. Chelmsford Road might be anywhere. Might be a mile away on the other side of town. So this was Orpingham a narrow high street of unspoiled houses and a few new shops. Above her, on a bright green mound, Alice could see the castle. Between gaps in the buildings, the orf could be seen winding between the water meadows. A pretty place for a woman of taste, or a sanctuary for a weary spirit. Outside the town hall, there was a street plan. Alice found Chelmsford Road at once, she smiled at her own trepidation when she realised that Nestor Street was one of the arms leading from the junction where she was now. A wider street than the one which she'd entered, it was affluent rather than beautiful, with many of the houses lying back, half concealed behind high walls. It was not quite what she'd pictured for Nestor. She'd imagined a cottage. There was nothing like that here, only huge, gabled and turreted villas. Nestor probably had a flat in one of them. A light drizzle had begun to fall. Alice put on her grey, uncompromising packamac and opened her umbrella. Sample complete. Ready to continue?